The university I'm showing you today shows that there are no tuition fee, both for domestic and the international students at this university. And also, if you come to the application page right here, you are going to see that you don't even need to uh, pay any admission application fee because you are going to be filling the application fee on the school online portal by filling uh, the questionnaire in the application form. Note that there are also some things that you don't need to uh, submit or care about when you are trying to apply into this university that I'm about to show you right in this video. If you are applying for your undergraduate program, you need to understand that you only need your school living certificate. And if you are applying for your master's, you already know you need your uh, fourth degree certificate to apply. If you scroll down and come to this part, here it says, we don't require any recommendation letter. Please abstain from submitting references as well, okay? So you need uh, a curriculum vitae that is not more than two pages maximum. And if you understand the tabulated uh, curriculum vitae, you can see that it is even very, very easy because it's a templated uh, CV. Because this type of CV have the question that they're asking you already. I have a copy of this uh, curriculum vitae, okay? So maybe I will drop a link at the description of this video for you to download this uh, a copy of that curriculum vitae, okay? One thing I want you to know very well is that you have to watch this video to the very end so that you can understand the admission application procedure, okay? So I'm going to be walking you through step-by-step step all you need to know about this university and the programs that are available, especially uh, going through the admission application process. You need to understand that most of this university, when they ask you to do the application on their university website, most time you might not uh, be able to do it without someone guiding you through the steps, okay? So uh, without too much talk, let's go into today's video. If at any point you find this video very, very useful, please don't hesitate to click on that like button if you have any question, drop them at the comment box, but make sure if you've not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do that as well so that you can get notified when I drop a video for you on this channel. I will be walking you through all the steps you need to know in today's video, okay? So let's go back to uh, what we need to understand in this university, okay? So where is this university located? This is one of the top university in Europe that you can easily study without paying any admission application fee or even tuition fee. But you need to remember that you have to pay a uh, semester fee of 300 euro. Note that this semester fee is, uh, you will receive semester uh, tickets, which is majorly for your transport and which entitle you to use uh, public transport. Note that this will also reduce the amount of money you are going to spend on food, okay? It said exclusive high-speed train, free of charge throughout Notra, Westphalia, trip to Cologne, okay? Dusseldorf and Bones, okay? Those are uh, areas in uh, Germany that you can go to if you want to go on high speed, but they are excluded from the uh, ticket fee, okay? So I've also made a video about Colonial University, uh, Bonn University, and all of them. So what you want to do is to check my uh, Germany playlist to see university with no application fee and no tuition fee. Now let's go back to the uh, homepage of this uh, website, okay? So let's go back to their uh, main page. So uh, if you come to this page right here, let me let me take this out. If you come to this page right here, this is the uh, student page. So how do I get here? You click here, you click on that studies, then you click on before you study. So when you click on that before you study, then it will bring you to this information for the prospective student. Note that what they are telling you here is very, very important and you need to pay attention to it, okay? They said, studying in Bielefeld has many advantages. A wide range of courses offer with numerous combination options, 
individual profiling and an open-minded communicative university. The portal offer information about the courses offer, the way the application and much more information about the study. And you are going to see apply here. Don't click that apply here straight away, okay? Because we need to check the courses that are available before we actually go to the apply page, okay? So don't rush. I'm going to walk you through the process seamlessly, okay? Now, if you come to this uh, page right here, if you scroll down, we are going to see some other information that you can actually uh, read through, but I'm not going to bore you with all, all, all of those information in this video, okay? So you want to click on total courses offer. When you click on that total courses offer, it will bring you to this uh, tree-like uh, page where they split the type of courses and the degree level that are available, master's, bachelor, uh, state exam, PhD courses, and all of those like that, okay? So we are not interested in all of these courses because there are a lot of courses right here right now, okay? So what you want to do right now is to make sure you click on this English language thought program. You know, I'm always concerned about programs that are totally taught in English, okay? So that you don't uh, stress yourself learning uh, languages before you start your main course, okay? You know, but there are some cases that you might have to learn the language for you to, uh, so it's your choice, okay? So I'm just saying in today's video, we are talking about English taught program, okay? Programs that are taught in English either way, okay? When you click on, when you click on this, this year to bring you to this page, then you are going to see the programs, language requirements for admission to a degree, what language skill are required to study at Blifford University, okay? If you scroll down, it says good German language skills are required or you need English language if you are going for English taught program, okay? So if your course is taught, you know, is going to be taught or is going to be You'll be taught or you would you okay so whatever it is just uh flow along with it i hope you catch that okay so one thing i want you to know that if your course is going to be taught in english then you need english language as uh, a prerequisite okay and if you are coming from africa especially nigeria ghana kenya all of those African countries that the first uh, language of instruction is English, then you don't need to stress yourself about this, okay? So that's why you see most of my video, I put it there that you don't need high ELTS because as a native speaker, you can hear what I'm saying right now because I'm speaking English, man, okay? So now, if you come down here, you are going to see the English Language Master Program and International Tracks, okay? So this is what we are really interested in. They have a uh, master's in behavior from neuromechanism to evolution, master's in quantitative economics. They have intelligent interactive system that is for international tracks. They also have a uh, mathematical and theoretical physics. They have international tracks. Uh, master in, that's master in sociology, uh, master in mathematics, natural science, Computer Science International Tracks, Master in Data Science. Okay, so I think I would love to see this uh, Master in Computer Science. So you can keep scrolling to check uh, some other courses, but I think I'm cool with this. So let me, let's click on this link to check what we have here before we now go ahead to the admi uh, admission application page to do justice to this, okay? So if you look at this very, very well, you are going to see that uh, this is the brief information about this, okay? So I think they also have a short video. Uh, I've not played that video, so I don't know if it's in English, but from the caption, you can see that it is written in German, okay? So if you want to listen to it, you can listen to that. Course starts. Study can be commenced only in winter semester, okay? So, you know, if you apply now, you are going to start your study by uh, winter, okay, which means you are going to be migrating to Germany by September, then you start your class, okay? So uh, length and scope of study, the standard period of study is two years, that's first semester, and uh, the study inf 
informatics for the natural science comprises 120 credit points but i need to be sure if this is a computer science or oh i think you can see now informatic of the natural for the natural science okay so you keep scrolling down then you can read some other information here and under the admission application and enrollment it says the study place for this degree program are not subject to any admission restriction which means uh, international students can apply into this program okay and okay so you can just go through the program if you want to uh you will prefer to apply to and make sure that you uh, do justice and do your application okay so once you do all of this you've checked the profile i will go back to that previous page okay so i'll go back to that previous page Okay, so if I come to this page, so I'm going to drop all this link at the description of this video so that you can uh, on this page where you have uh, this uh, study with a degree, you are just going to click on this application. And when you click on this, you are going to see uh, different methods to process your application, the one for, okay, so let me close this out. This is what you are going to see right now, bachelor and master's, then I'm going to go for master's program, then uh, first apply online within the application deadline for international account via the application status portal. So you need proof of study, diploma and transcript of record. If your original documents are not in German or English, please remember to upload the translation as well. Evidence of the required language skill, uh, special documents according to the subject regulation, particularly CV of uh, CV, letter of motivation or summary of the thesis. Okay, so the selection process is based on professional and personal qualification. So what we are majorly concerned about is to come to the bottom of this page and click on this uh, last link here. Then when you click on that last link, it will uh, bring you to this uh, page okay so here you have okay so i think i should bring this here here you have uh, application for a combination bachelor degree with a restricted admission uh -huh. you also have ad ad application for admission restricted one subject bachelor so you have the login page here so what i want to do right now is to click on this first one here when I click on that first one right there, then uh, it open up the page, then we can begin the registration immediately, okay? So first thing is that you have to translate this page, okay? So let's see, click at it, uh, okay? Uh, okay, I think I find it there. So if you click it here, then at the bottom of the page, so you click and switch to English, when you click and switch to English, then you are going to see this information right here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do right now is to click on this uh, registration. First, the registration takes place, then you create the application form. To do so, log into the application status portal with your username and password. Okay, so let's click on this first. So we are going to follow this step by step. I want you to stick around as I guide you through the application process, first you need to provide your basic information. Okay, so just keep this section. Let me zoom this out. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you need to provide a degree, uh, Bachelor of Science, uh, job title. What's, what do you have here? Okay, job title. Okay, so I don't know. Let's let's see if we can skip that first name.
uh, place of birth, Nigeria, country, Nigeria, birth name, nationality, uh, nationality two, okay. Let me just put only Nigeria. Because sometimes when you put in too much of information, uh, okay. So this job title, I don't actually know what is there. And then uh, let's see what is there. Here you can select the job title. Note that academic suffix previous and additional name are recorded in separate feed. Job title. So this this does not look familiar. So I will not. No, I don't do to know what I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so so let me just select be wrong. So let's leave that. It's not, it's not important. Even the job title is not important. Anyway, you see asterisk is important. So it's not important. Uh, date of birth is important. So I'll do that later. Contact information, country. I'll put my own country, Nigeria. Uh, address, street number, uh, city, phone number, email, all of this, okay? So then I will have to create my password. Okay, so uh, then what is the results of 18, 18 minus 23? Okay, so uh see uh, cac so I'll use my cac 18 plus 23 that's minus 5 okay because uh 23 is bigger okay so minus 5 then uh we click on this but first we need to fill in all the other information. So I hope I don't put the wrong email today. Okay. Uh, CT. So I will have to put all of this information then. I will. Okay, so I fill all the other information above. So what I'm going to do right now is to click on register. Okay, so when I click register, you can see I'm going to save this password so I don't forget. <laughs> it said, thank you for registering. We have sent you uh, an email. So enter the activation code from the email. So let's walk through this. Okay, so you can see that uh, I just got this uh, zero minutes ago. So I just got this now, and this is the activation code. So I'm going to copy this activation code and go back to the registration. Then you click on this. Okay, so sometimes if you don't pay attention to uh, this video, you might not uh, get it right. Okay, so I'm going to click okay. So let's see if it works. So let's see if it works. Good. Your verification has been successful. So I'm going to log in now to start filling the application form. Remember on that first page, they said we will have to do the registration first. Then after that, you we have to log in, of which I've logged in now, then uh, log into the admission application status. Okay, please note the instruction on the application procedure. Okay, so... Now I have logged in now, and this is my profile. Okay, so if I click on this, I have my information here now. 
I have my alt key, also those private information. So I'm not going to uh, share all of those information right now. Okay, so welcome to the application status portal of Billy Fed University. Uh, courses of our day. So in case we want to go back and check some of this information, you can check. But before I leave you to this, I want to change this page to English. Okay, I think it's in English already. So I'm going to click start application. You can apply for several courses at this university. You know, one uh, when we want us to start the application, we click on the one without restriction. And if you click on the one with restriction, you are going to be able to apply to only a single uh, course, okay? So it said, uh, email, enable email notification. Yes, I want to get email notification. So uh, winter. 2023-2024, start application. Okay, so remember the deadline is 15th of July. Uh, once you've created your account and you've been able to verify the code that has been sent to your email address, so what you need to do right now is to come back to the portal and come and click start your application, okay? So once you start this, start your application, then you can start filling in the uh, courses or the course that you want to apply to because right here it says you can apply for several courses at this university, okay? So if you have any question, make sure you drop them at the comment box. And if there's anything you want me to talk about or uh, any videos about any country, let me know at the comment box so that I can put this on my content list, okay? So if this video is helpful for you enough, please don't hesitate to click on the uh, like button, okay? So once you click on start application, then it will ask you to start selecting uh, the uh, semester you want to start, click on this, start your application, then you can start filling in the application form, okay? So I think I've helped you enough to walk you through the steps up to this, uh, up to this stage, okay? So um, you can add a request by start filling in your information, then you start, proceeding to the next step, selecting your degree, all of those information, okay? So, uh, see then, I'm going to see you in another one, peace. For those that want to join my one-on-one -on -one or my membership group, you can uh, make use of this link. So I'm going to drop this link at the description of this video. So in case you want to join uh, my membership group, this is a link for you to join my membership group. So in this membership group, I guide you through the application procedure, how you can apply to schools and all of those, every other information needed, okay? So today, I'll catch up with you and I'm done. Thank you.